What's bugging you? The imported cabbage worm. Sometimes people call it, I think mistakenly, cabbage looper. Uh, I was uh, looking at a tray that we had of some kale, and it was nothing but the skeletons. <laughs> it was all skeletons, and and it was devoured. It, I hate these insects. I really do, because first of all, they attack all types of coal crops, so, so it's going to be things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, uh, cabbage, of course. Uh, and that, yeah, their butterfly that they form is kind of pretty. But because I know what it is, okay, I kill, I want to kill it. Like, like they'll... <laughs> will be filled with customers and now I've got all, all of a sudden one of those white butterflies with the two dots on the back of the wing comes by and I'm trying to grab it and smush it as it's flying yeah. and like I can only marriage in the, the horror of children he's trying to kill the butterfly <laughs> like no I'm not I'm trying to kill the imported <laughs> okay. sorry I'm not going to get political yeah. <laughs> but it's an illegal <laughs> alien <laughs> That's the other studio, Julio. <laughs> anyway, that these things are just nasty. And, you know, they hide because have, because they go along the actual vein of the plant. So even like, like red cabbage, for instance, you'll look at it and you'll say, the leaves are all eaten. I can't see what's eating them. But if you look at the vein that goes along the, the main leaf, there they are. It's just kind of like hanging out, like you don't see me. <laughs> I'm so fat I can't move. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> well, again, pollinators, uh, 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 <laughs> kind of, <laughs> but not really. No. Look, I mean, you know, no, they're not gonna I'm end. sorry. Yeah, you're not. Uh, they cross the line. Right. There's a few. There's a few pollinators that just plain cross the line. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> we don't need more of these. Well, yeah, we, we don't. really don't. <laughs> we don't. We have plenty. Uh, you know, any farmer that that is, uh, you know, trying to grow any of the coal crops, they have to deal with this constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it's the imported cabbage worm. It's a native of Europe. Okay, and it's not native here. Uh, and it's begun, become a major pest. I, and it has been for years, oh, for years. It's always around. Um, it was first discovered in 1860. Ooh, way back. Okay. And it's also the United States and Canada. So, I, ha, all right. How does this sound for a cute little butterfly? <laughs> oh, look at a white little butterfly flying. Oh. And you know, I can tell because when they come over, right? And they're hovering over the um, our trays of of could be collards or kohlrabi or broccoli, and you see that it come and it's like kind of like dive bobs in. It's like fluttering. Ah, da, da, yeah. Da, da. yeah, it's laying eggs. Yeah. It's <laughs> dropping its eggs <laughs> on top of our flats yeah, our trays. of trays. And our customers, when they take them home, oh. they may be taking home eggs that we don't know about. So, right. uh, oh, I hate them. I hate them. Anyway. It it ha it does not have a limited diet here. Right. Again, I, I've already mentioned a few: cabbage, cauliflower, kale, collards, kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, mustard, radish, turnips, horseradish. Wow, they like that too. I guess wow. so. They're from Europe. Um, <laughs> and occasionally <laughs> eat head lettuce and leaf lettuce. Pretty, oh, pretty and, intense. And they eat holes, and they deposit. And this, here's another thing: European. <laughs> this is a description folks i'm sorry but uh they eat irregular shaped holes in the leaves and deposit large pellets of excrement <laughs> they like to go <laughs> they like to do that sounds like some of my family when they come to visit uh anyway and that's <laughs> where again, <laughs> and they, they'll feed on the inside of broccoli and cauliflower they are glutinous poop machines oh I, did you get the idea that i don't like them because they're in this guise of being so cute but they're a wolf in sheep's clothing 
Don't yeah. fall for it. They're easy to control. That's a good thing. Um, you know, they, and here, here's one thing. They're not even like, like the spotted lanternfly die. They lay their eggs and then they die. These don't. Okay, they pupate over winter, Ooh. and that that's those white butterflies you see so yeah, early. Yeah. Oh, it's early for butterflies. Look at it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, they are looking to increase their populations and decrease your harvest of your yeah. vegetable garden. <laughs> You're not going to have anything. Easy to control. That's one good thing. Spinosad. Uh, Spinosad is an organic. Uh, also, two organics, really. Spinosad and BT. Uh, Bactillus thuringiensis. It's um, it's a, in most cat. If you see caterpillar killer, um, gosh, I guess like now with everybody saying, "Oh, everything's a pollinator," you know that people. Oh, yeah. don't, it's like yeah. a don't. I don't want the caterpillar killer. No, we don't. Do that. Look, we are. I guess what do we call ourselves? The alpha alpha predator. Alpha predator. Yeah. There are some times we need to do our job, and or else yeah. you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> and with this, I tell you, <laughs> these illegal alien <laughs> caterpillar <laughs> bugs. Yeah, they gotta get. Yeah. <laughs> they need to go. They gotta go back <laughs> they to need Europe. To go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Go back across the sea. <laughs> you know. Um, so you need to spray them with spinosad. Uh, organic, so again, you're you're using it on food crops. Uh, same thing, you can also use the the BT. Uh, will do well, but you got to make sure. Like I said, they kind of hide uh, on the veins. Yeah, you could spray the top of, of the the leaves, but you got to get underneath mm-hmm. too, and just it'll clean them up pretty quick. But just you got to get to them, or else you know your harvest is gone, and nobody wants to eat your chewed, imported. Up. Cabbage leaves, cabbage, <laughs> cabbage, cabbage <laughs> worms, <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> anyway, those cute little white butterflies with the two uh, dots on the end. Not cute. <laughs> they are menaces. <laughs> I mean, they, are, right. they are menaces. We got to get rid of those guys. Yeah, we do. We do. They're always, yeah, they're, always, yeah, they're, they're always sneaky. Yeah, they're always flying around my place. Oh, I know. Well, I mean... <laughs> Oh, it's when stop. I see them at the gardens that it really uh, pisses oh, me yeah, off I because I you know, know what they're, they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I know what they're doing. It's like, yeah. yes, you've made it, yeah. and now you're laying eggs. Yeah, you're exactly. laying eggs on top yeah. of our pristine, beautiful vegetable plants. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> so if yeah. you ever come to Bloomers and you see a madman chasing white butterflies, don't get the on. butterfly net yourself, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? Unless you're going to catch one of the white butterflies. Then it's okay. <laughs> but just leave me alone. Let me try to, to get them out. 